right, so we just got back from Trader Joe's. I got everything laid out to show you guys, and we were actually just talking about how it's been over a year since we have gone to Trader Joe's and it's not even that far I mean it's about 30 45 minutes away from where we live it's not that bad but I was telling Frank that I want to go more or at least maybe like once a month because I miss going to Trader Joe's I used to go there all the time I follow this Instagram page and I always see all the amazing things that they're posting that you can get at Trader Joe's and I'm like okay I need to just go more often and then I'm just like drooling and now I'm starving and all this food sounds so good right now and I just want to eat all of it so starting over here Frank actually picked this out it's he got rainbow trout fillets I think it's just yeah it is I was gonna say this seasoning that's on there looks so good I'm like is that what's on here and then I picked out some spicy Italian chicken sausage I thought this would be really good either roasted or sauteing it or even on the grill but like some veggies for lunch and then I saw these lobster raviolis and it sounded so good I was actually hungry the whole time I was shopping so I just started picking out everything that sounded good to me so I'm really excited to try those I like these multicolored raviolis and they look really good got some grapes Frank wanted to make or wants to make some fried chicken so he got two things of their drumsticks so this i actually saw on that trader joe's instagram page everybody was raving about how good they are so i was like okay i'm gonna give it a try they are korean spicy stir fried rice cakes and they look amazing i cannot wait to try those i'll let you guys know how i like those and then i got some mozzarella cheese sticks for nolan he's been saying how much he loves the school's cheese sticks the mozzarella sticks and he's been asking me to get some so i saw that they had them at trader joe's got them for him and then i also got some baby broccoli to saute with some olive oil and some salt and pepper some hash browns i was telling frank the kids would love these i feel like these would be so good in the air fryer and then i told aria that we were going to trader joe's and she requested the silver dollar pancakes she said she loves these pancakes so i got her some of those and then frank picked out some mahi mahi burgers this looks really really good i was almost tempted to get like one of the sauces that they had there but i wasn't sure what would be really good with this i feel like a chipotle aioli sauce would be amazing with this if we can find some and i think this was another thing that frank picked out was these pork spring rolls these would also be really good in the air fryer as well and then i got some chocolate croissants i think you just have to take them out overnight and bake them in the morning uh yes so room temperature it says and then i got this waldorf salad with grilled white chicken meat for lunch today we got some little baby potatoes that we're gonna roast to go with the fried chicken and then i got some organic carrot juice i'm actually thinking about getting my own juicer thinking i should say i haven't gotten it yet but i've been thinking about it and starting to juice so we'll see so for the meantime we're just gonna drink pre-made juice and then some organic jasmine rice i got this to go with actually the beef and broccoli and then also i think i did i get it something else no maybe that's it i meant to get the orange chicken and it totally slipped my mind but i also got the rice for that but it's okay that just means we'll have another time to go back there and get it but i mainly got it to go with this beef and broccoli actually i had gotten this a long time ago at trader joe's and i never tried it and i was so bummed that i had to throw it away when we did our garage video so i'm excited to try it this time also got some blackberries and then i saw that they had these rx bars i've never tried these two flavors the vanilla almond and the chocolate raspberry so i'm excited to try those out i also saw these and i thought they were really interesting i think the kids would like them they're crispy peanut butter filled wafer sticks with raspberry fruit dip so kind of like a little pb and j i think the kids will really really like those and i forgot to show you guys i also got this tomato feta soup i am such a soup person by hands down tomato soup is my favorite i don't think i've tried this one yet so i'm excited to try their soup i was also trying to find their wonton soup a lot of you guys were telling me to get that i could not find it anywhere so next time i go i'm gonna look for it again to try it because i got so many requests to try it and then some hamburger buns to go with the mahi mahi burgers Frank got some IPA. I also got my favorite wine of all time. If you guys have not tried this Villa Elena or Alina Moscato and peach wine, 
telling you guys, it's so good. It is my favorite. I love it so much. And I can only I can only find this at Trader Joe's. Also got some little baby carrots, some vanilla bean scones. I was it was a cross between this and their uh, black and white cookies, but I got these instead. And then we also saw this gnocchi with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. I wanted to give that a try. Frank picked out some chili and garlic cashews, and I saw these rolled corn tortillas, this chili and lime flavored. Somebody said on my Instagram that these were comparable to Takis and Aria loves, loves Takis. So I'm gonna see if she'll like these. And then I also got these for myself for a treat. They are the mini hold the cone ice cream cones. This is the coffee bean one. It has eight mini chocolate cones filled with coffee bean ice cream and topped with a chocolatey coating. It sounded amazing. So I'm excited to try those. Um, a loaf of bread, some mini peanut butter cups in here, some animal crackers for the kids. I got this to go with the lobster ravioli. It is a creamy tomato basil pasta sauce, but I figured this would also be good to dip the mozzarella sticks in too. And then lastly, I got the Trader Joe's coconut creamer. I've been drinking almond creamer with my coffee lately, but they were recently out of it at the store. So I'm excited to try this and see if I like it. And then I also got some of the cookie butter. You guys, I could eat this by the spoonfuls, like by itself. Another Trader Joe's must have, I feel like. And then lastly, I couldn't help myself but grabbing some flowers. So I got all these beautiful colors right here. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And Honestly, I've never even heard of that flower, but when I saw them, I saw how pretty they are. I was like, okay, I need to get some of those too. But that is everything that we got from Trader Joe's. I'm actually about to have this salad for lunch and put everything up. You guys let me know in the comments down below what are some of your Trader Joe must-haves. That way when I go next time, I can give them a try because I wanted to literally pick out everything. And I wanted to say we got everything for I think a little over $200. I think it was $203 for all of this, which is pretty good because we did get several meals. We got this meal, we got the Mahi Mahi burgers. We also have the beef and broccoli, and then also this meal. Some of these meals I know for sure the kids are not going to eat. It's gonna be like a me and Frank kind of meal, but I'm excited to try some of the new things that I got as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Trader Joe's haul. If you guys would like to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next one. Bye guys.